What is up my fellow econ students? Welcome back to this very interesting video. Today, uh, we are going over a very topic that is very near and dear to many people's hearts. That is unemployment, unfortunately. So we're going to be going over the definition, the general definition of unemployment. The four types, actually three types of unemployment. Uh, their causes, the formula for counting, calculating unemployment, and the causes for the unemployment. Okay, So unemployment. Okay. We heard a lot about this. We hear it a lot in the news. What is the definition of unemployment? Okay. The definition for unemployment is a little bit technical. It is the condition of which, of which a worker actively searching for a job but unable uh, to find one. Okay, so this is the definition of uh, of an unemployed person, a person actively searching for a job but is unable to find one. Okay, so it's a very important condition is that this person, okay, he has to be actively searching for a job. Okay, for example, a stay at home moms, although they are not unemployed, they are not actively searching for a job and therefore not counted as unemployed. So this is the definition uh, for unemployment. Now. Us economists, we have four, actually, I, I keep saying four, we have three types, okay, we have three types of unemployment. The first type of unemployment is what we call frictional unemployment, okay, we have frictional unemployment. The second type is what we call structural unemployment. The last and third type is what we call cyclical unemployment okay so each of these have different definitions and, and and different causes so first of all what what is what is frictional unemployment frictional unemployment is is concerned with when workers okay are between jobs or when graduates just graduated and are and and, and is looking for a job because okay, so this is very harmless we all have you know uh, you, we all know people between jobs you know we we heard the term between we hear the term between jobs a lot you know i'm searching for a job between jobs that's that's frictional unemployment when when a person leaves work and he is actively searching for for a next place to work at that's frictional unemployment the second type of unemployment we want to talk about is structural unemployment okay sounds a little bit more dangerous but structural employment concerns when um there are changes in output, such as uh, technology, and workers are replaced. Okay, so this is structural, uh, structural unemployment when when there are changes in in, in output or manufacturing and, and, and such as technology and workers are replaced. For a, a prime example of this is uh, I, I live in Taiwan, and previously uh, when people go on the highways in in Taiwan, there are uh, every every so often there are these polling stations where right? you have to go in, you have to give a, a ticket or pay uh, what what is it around one dollar. Okay, we'll have to pay one dollar in order to continue on on using the highways. However, technology came around around ten years ago, and then they, 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 these people that, that work at these polling stations get 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 laid off because of structural unemployment. Because of technology, these people get laid off, and and uh, and now they use they use what they call uh, electronic. Um, a detection system where uh, they would detect your car using the license plate instead of having real people in polling stations. So uh, the structural employment concerns with when there are changes in output, where ch changes in technology leading uh, to workers being replaced. So this is another form of unemployment, where there are changes in technology uh, or, or, or changes in output. The last one is what we call cyclical unemployment. And this is what we call the bad type of unemployment. It's what we call demand deficient uh, unemployment where there are falls in the aggregate demand and workers need to be laid off as a result. Okay, so this is what we call cyclical unemployment. It's very, very bad type of unemployment and harms the economy. So uh, frictional unemployment and, and structural unemployment are actually healthy, uh, healthy forms of unemployment. Uh, 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 economy may have now. What? What? what well, let, let us remember why F Y F E. Okay. What? What's Y F E? What? Well, it, it, it is in. Uh, it, it is the rate at full employment. Okay. For the term full employment does not mean zero percent in uh, unemployment, but means there is a healthy 
level of unemployment. So in in America, that would be around four percent, around four percent. Okay, around four percent, around let's say two to four, around two to four, two two percent to four percent is a healthy full employment, uh, full and full uh employment rate of a labor force. Uh, now, now, um, you may be asked to calculate um, the unemployment rate, and, and, and the formula is really simple. So, the unemployment rate equals okay. You know, we have ch- uh, number of unemployed divided by uh, the number in the labor force. Okay. So anyone above a, a working age as actively looking for work or already has work will be divided uh, with, with, with the number of unemployed workers. So uh, now that we have some definitions, what are some causes for frictional, structural, and cyclical unemployment? So causes. Okay. So frictional unemployment uh, has the causes of, of uh, between jobs and seeking for jobs. Okay, so that is the causes for frictional unemployment. And what are some solutions, uh, causes and solutions and solutions? Uh, increasing information, okay, increasing information and also uh, increasing perhaps websites or uh, the job searching process will be able to decrease the frictional unemployment. Now, structural unemployment, okay. What, 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 what are the causes of structural unemployment now? As, as we have previously mentioned, technology is a big one. Also, globalization. Globalization and the outsourcing of labor to uh, cheaper places such as Indonesia and India. China, not so much. China is, is becoming a lot more global, uh, a lot more expensive to manufacture stuff already. So, uh, 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 information or, or uh, uh, actually technology and globalization are actually the f- sources for structural unemployment. And solutions to uh, structural unemployment is to have a training. Uh, and education are so uh, are potential solutions to structural unemployment. Okay, so I hope uh, this is helpful. And, and, and the last type of unemployment is what we call cyclical. Okay, or or de- uh, demand deficient unemployment. So cyclical unemployment. Now this is once again caused by a demand deficiency. And uh, solutions for this is to increase, solution is to uh, increase aggregate demand. Whether it is government stimulus, whether it is fiscal or monetary policies, the solutions for cyclical unemployment is to increase uh, aggregate demand. So I hope this video is helpful in actually clarifying some of the uh, understandings of unemployment, the different types of unemployment, as well as uh, causes and solutions for uh, frictional, structural, and cyclical unemployment. So I hope this video is helpful and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.